going to start off by using my Milk Makeup Hydro Gripping Primer. This stuff is so good and it really does help your makeup last all day long. Going in with my Born This Way Matte Foundation from Too Faced Cosmetics, I'm going to use my Anissa Beauty Foundation Brush to blend this out. I really like how this brush really just pushes all the product into your skin, only if you do obviously the stippling um, technique like I'm doing right now. And I'm just using that technique to um, give me more of a full coverage wherever I feel like I need it. So to highlight and conceal, I'm using the e.l.f. Cosmetics Camel Concealer. This is a matte finish, so you do want to have a hydrating eye cream underneath. Other than that, it does wear beautifully and it blends out beautifully. I did use my Damp Beauty Blender to blend this out. So just highlighting my forehead, underneath my eyes, down the bridge of my nose and chin. I'm going to cream contour and bronze here and I'm using the LA Girl Pro Conceal. This is an oldie but a goodie. I just um, started using this again and because it's inexpensive and it works really good. Um, they have tons of different shades but I like more of a warmth look so that's why I'm using this. And I'm just using a small stippling brush to blend this out. This also kind of dries down quickly so that's why I was like trying to move fast and I'm not sure what the point of that shape on my nose was and it actually stayed like that. It didn't want to blend out so I just took my foundation brush and just took it off. Whatever. I'm going to contour my nose anyway later with a powder. I'm going to set everything with my Shape Tape Setting Powder from Tarte Cosmetics using my Beauty Blender. I do tend to get oily throughout the day in my T-zone area. That's why I'm just going in with this setting powder. It is not going to look this matte all day long. Also, really kind of concentrating under the eye in case I get any fallout for when I do my eye makeup next. So I'm going to prep and prime my eyes using the P. Louise Shadow Base. This is in the shade Rumor 2. I'm going to be using the At Forest Sight Palette. This is the one that Raw Beauty Christy came out with in collaboration with ColourPop. It is so beautiful. I had to get it. So I'm going to use this shade right here called Fiddlehead. And I'm just using a dense shader brush and applying that right here in the outer corner. And I'm also going to be bringing it up into the crease. Like I said, I'm just packing it on right here first. So I'm going to use this shade right here called Puff Ball and I'm just using that same brush but I'm using the other side of it because it's cleaner and I'm just using this to do small brush strokes and blend those two shades together. Using that same shade I just took a different blending brush and I'm blending it up towards into the brow bone just to give it that nice gradient look. I'm just highlighting the brow bone with a matte cream colored shade. This palette doesn't have it, so I just grabbed another one. Um, but I like doing this because it kind of tones down 
um, I think went up way too high and it just kind of diffuses the color so I'm just going to blend out one more time and then moving on to the lid I'm gonna use this shade called evergreen I am going to take my Mac 242 brush I did not wet it or anything so I'm just gonna apply a little bit and then I'm gonna go in with my ring finger and really press it into the lid When I do looks like this, I really like to smoke out the lower lash line as well. So I just took those two same shades, Fiddlehead and Fafal, and blended that out. For lashes, I'm using the ColourPop Lashes in the Style Miami. I'm going to apply my favorite mascara first. This is from Buxom Cosmetics. Their brush is so nice. It really separates your lashes, length, lengthens them, and um, it makes them nice and thick. So love this mascara. As I'm editing, I just realized that I forgot to add eyeliner in my <laughs> on my um, waterline on this eye one eye has it one eye doesn't so if you can tell I'm sorry I forgot I'm just dusting off any fallout and blending out the translucent powder that I set my face with I'm gonna use this palette this is from MAC cosmetics it is their highlight and contour palette I'm using this to contour my nose and just add a little bit more warmth on on top of where I added my cream contour just to set that For blush, I'm using the Buxom Cosmetics Wonderlust Primer Infused Blush. This is in the shade Dolly. For highlight, I'm going to be using the Artist Couture Diamond Glow Powder in the shade Coco Bling. I'm going to set my face using the Cover FX Mattifying Setting Spray. I absolutely love this setting spray. It helps me not get too oily throughout the day. Going in with my Ruby Woo Lip Liner from MAC Cosmetics. I'm just going to fill my lips in with this lip liner and then go over top with a gloss. I'm just kind of smoothing everything out here with um, a small lip brush. I feel like this gives it more of like that crisp look. To add shine, I'm going to use this full-on lip plumping cream from Buxom Cosmetics in the shade Bloody Mary. So pretty and it makes your lips nice and plump. I love how this makeup tutorial came out, you guys. I hope that you guys did too. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe, thumbs up, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys!